Hello everyone, this is João from KenHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where right now we're going to be talking about the maxillary artery, also sometimes pronounced as maxillary artery. Now this structure supplies the deep structures of the face and right now we're looking at it from a lateral a left lateral view as you can see this is going to be the maxillary artery that we're going to be talking about and this artery branches off from this artery right here which is known as the external carotid artery just deep to the neck of the mandible and before we talk about the maxillary artery i would like to highlight this one that i just briefly mentioned this one is the external carotid artery the external carotid artery is one of the two main divisions of the common carotid artery, the other one being the internal carotid artery. The bifurcation of the common carotid occurs at the level of the thyroid cartilage, at which point the external carotid climbs the lateral sides of the neck within the carotid sheath. The external carotid gives off branches to the neck region and supplies the external structures of the head and face. Now let's highlight uh, the main structure that we're focusing on on this tutorial, the maxillary artery. And the maxillary artery is one of the terminal branches of the external carotid, as we mentioned before. And its branches supply the deep structures of the face. In this tutorial, we will be talking about the different branches of the maxillary artery, which consist of three parts. So there are three parts that we can split this artery into. And then each part will have different, different branches that we're going to be covering on this tutorial. Now, the very first one, the very first part is going to be the mandibular part, which is also known as the first part coming out of the external carotid artery. So it should be around here. And then in the middle, we're going to find a part known as the pterygoid part. And finally, we're going to be looking at the pterygopalatine part, which is around the terminal end or the terminal part of the maxillary artery. And we're going to start off with the very first one here on the list, the mandibular part of the maxillary artery. There are a few branches that we're going to be finding on this part of the maxillary artery, including the deep auricular, the anterior tympanic arteries, which are two arteries that we cannot see here in this image. So we're going to leave them for another tutorial. But we're going to be talking about the inferior alveolar artery, which happens to have two branches, the mylohyoid branch and the mental branch. And finally, we're going to be talking about the middle meningeal artery. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website. Not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.